Lord be with you. Today is Monday in Holy Week, and we have for you a scripture reading as well as some prayers for you today. An opportunity to confess the Apostles' Creed together and pray the Lord's Prayer, and a special um, prayer for Monday in Holy Week for you as you prepare yourself for Good Friday and for Easter morning. Our reading is from the Old Testament, from Isaiah chapter 50. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to those who strike, and my cheeks to those who pull out the beard. I hid not my face from disgrace and spitting. But the Lord God helps me. Therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. Who will declare my guilt? Behold, all of them will wear out like a garment. The moth will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the voice of his servant? Let him who walks in darkness and has no light trust in the name of the Lord and rely on his God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I cry to you, O Lord, in the morning my prayer comes before you. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. By awesome deeds you answered us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Hear my prayer, O Lord, let my cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, grant that in the midst of our failures and weaknesses, we may be restored through the passion and intercession of of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. A prayer for Monday in Holy Week. Let us pray. Precious Savior, Lamb of God for sinners slain, graciously forgive me all my sins. I have failed to fear, love, and trust in you above all things. This I confess, O Lord. As I reflect on my past life, I see that the allurements of the world the way it was, the glamour of success which I have chased, and the favor of friends and useful acquaintances have enticed me away from you. These things have been fighting to take possession of my heart. O Lord, keep my eyes open. 
Let me not sell my soul for the passing treasures of this present world. Forgive me for this betrayal of you. Should things return to the way they were, protect me from the cunning of Satan, the allurements of the world and the wickedness of my own heart, which seeks to cut me off from you. You are my surest friend. Grab hold of me that I do not stumble and fall. However the world ends up becoming after these days of isolation, guard my heart that the love of money and things, the desire for recognition and the eagerness to succeed may not rob me of my salvation, which you so dearly bought with your own precious blood. Above all, gracious Savior, let me not despair of your mercy, but believe at all times that your patience is boundless as the heavens and deeper than the sea. O friend of sinners, let me not fall away from you. Keep me standing in your grace until I shall stand in your presence forever throughout all of eternity. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Blessings on the rest of your Holy Week journey on the way to Good Friday and Easter morning. Go in God's peace. Amen.